Right now we'd like to welcome the man behind the camera, Ryan Taylor. He's going to join us. He's knocking down everything as audio engineers are apt to do. Um, and he knows how to talk into this microphone. Yeah, I think I do. It's his microphone. Yes, it is. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Internet. Tom. Hello, Ryan. It's funny looking at you from this angle. Oh, I know. It's what happens to everybody else when they're down here. <laughs> so. But now, um, what we were going to talk about today is live streaming and the difficulties of live streaming. This is a unique and historic event here where the original San Francisco Bitcoin meetup live streamer is joined by the new San Francisco Bitcoin live streamer who's also recently given up the job. So now Passing the torch along. Passed the torch and then I passed it again. Now it's Travis's problem. <laughs> and it's full of problems. Oh it's boy, not sure an easy is task. It. So you start out with live streaming and you set up a camera and you're like, well, I'm going to record it to a SIM card. I'm going to go home. I'm going to upload it later. Then they want you to edit it. Then you realize editing is a nightmare because you make edits. Then you have to render it. Then you have to upload. Last night I watched an upload for two or three hours uh, because I shot offline instead of live streaming. Uh, rookie mistake, but I just wanted a nice, crisp, clean copy uh, that I knew would work. And I had to do some tests and things. but. Then you give up on this recording to SD card thing and you decide to go live. So maybe you go live on your web camera and you're really close to Amir talking in Paris at the Breaking Bitcoin conference and you think you've done a good job. You march to the front row, you embarrassed yourself in front of a whole group and you point it right at it and the audience just explodes. Bad audio, bad audio. It's only on one channel. Point the camera channel. in a different place. And so you just give up. You close the laptop, let the other live streamers handle it. But what do the pros do? How do the pros live stream these crazy events? Well, it's a lot of experience, a lot of trial and, fa trial and error, trial and failure. And trial in and many failure, cases, yeah. um, I mean, it depends who you're working with. I do a lot of my stuff on my own, so I have control of the camera. Um, it's all of my own equipment. Of course, I've had to buy all of my own equipment, so at first you're using a shotgun mic or something, and then you end up saving enough, crypto goes up enough, so you have some money to invest into this equipment to basically quell your audience, right? Like, you're just trying to put them on mute without banning all of them. Yeah, it's <laughs> um, a pain. Your fingers hurt after a while. Yeah, yeah, so really, um, yeah, I guess I don't even know if I consider myself a pro at this point. I've been doing decentralized events for, uh, for about three years now. And um, upgrading equipment when I can. I use a, a live stream. It's a live stream encoder called a video, which is awesome because it just takes the audio and video from the camera, from any camera you put it into it, and uh, through Ethernet or Wi-Fi. That's why we stay, we live stream in standard definition a lot because. You go to these venues and a lot of times you don't know what kind of internet you're getting connection you're going to get. You, you ask for a hard line over and over again and you can't get a hard line so you have to go over the Wi-Fi anyway. Yeah, yeah, and then they have us this weekend, they have us live streaming from three different rooms. We're live streaming from here, we live streamed uh, from the paper hub, we live streamed from a room I can't even pronounce across the, across the hall here. Slivarna. Yeah, oh and then the main room too. So we've been live streaming four different rooms, none no of them have rooms. ethernet. No ethernet. Um, we've used four different cameras each time. So yeah, it's just a matter of, uh, of just move, like moving with the punches and not falling down. And then of course today, I mean, everything's going so smoothly at this event. Uh, we really haven't had many struggles. Um, so I set up the live stream for Peter's thing and then went and grabbed a beer. And that was great. It was wonderful. I saw one of the conference organizers and he asked how it's going. I said, if you see me getting a beer, it's working. Absolutely. So I had the much the same experience. First, I bought a very expensive black magic box which was truly black magic because I could never get the damn thing to work. I still need to resell it or send it back to Amazon. They don't want it anymore. Um, but now recently I bought a video game streaming box. Originally my goal was to stream myself playing the new Zelda, but then I realized that I was time stamping how long I was playing the new Zelda. I watched some of those for regrettably too long. <laughs> oh, that was a good game. And, and sometimes you're good at talking and you think you'll be one of these uh, geek gamer live streamers, but. I get tired of talking and mostly I just want to curse when I die. Um, so, and I die a lot. I'm not the best video gamer in the world. I, I think I am, but I'm not. Um, but, and yeah, I was also telling everyone how long I spent playing Zelda and how often I played. So I, I cut that out pretty quick, but then I realized uh, dual function technology, I could use this video game live streamer to live stream the San Francisco Bitcoin meetup. That's awesome. And I think that brought us up a level. Now Travis says he has a little Moby live camera, some kind of Kickstarter project. 
and uh, he's going to try that. And I guess it worked last time. I kind of glanced at it, uh, but anything that's over an hour, I don't have time for. Yeah, yeah, yeah I definitely recommend the Terra Deck videos. Uh, this one's been great. They are pricey. They're pretty expensive. About um, how much are we talking? Let's start running down the rig so I, everyone knows how much money we spend to live thing, live stream things for free so that we can promote your ICO. Yeah, although there will be no ICO. Um, yeah, I have no interest in that. So basically what we're looking at right now is, um, besides all of these pervs on the net, is uh, I have a Canon Vixia camera, the G20, which um, I think cost at the time, it was like $1,500. Um, and then, so we got the, the video that I have uh, was $800. They have a new model, which uh, it doesn't have the Ethernet port. It has a three-hour battery instead of the one-hour battery, and I think that that's 500 bucks. Um, I thought about getting it, but I live stream from kind of ideal environments usually, where I have power, so I don't need the extra battery, sure. um, and I like having the Ethernet option. So then, uh, yeah, and then I was working with a Rode uh, shotgun mic for a while, and if I was at a venue where they had wireless mics or where I could get a, li a line from the audio mixer, um, that was cool, but all oh, the complaints I got because my audio was bad. In fact, um, at one point, Bitcoin Bell offered to show her tits if I would get a better audio feed for, for an Open Bazaar meetup. I was live streaming. Of course, I couldn't get it, so all I got was a picture of her legs in the bathtub. Still not a bad thing. <laughs> uh, that's all on something. Twitter. Yeah, yeah, that's all on Twitter. So some, like, sometimes the audience gets really entertaining about it, but mostly you just get a lot of, a lot of hate. Um, and so I ended up buying these microphones, uh, these sign hit. Zenheiser, and that's my German accent. Very good. And, yeah, and uh, these were about a thousand dollars a piece because the receivers for them are what they're like about this big. Um, this obviously this handheld mic, and then Tom has the the lav mic clipped. Oh shit! I don't even know if they can hear you. Oh well. Yeah. Enough of that. I have been reading the chat since the sex therapist came through. Yeah. It got a little blue. Yeah, yeah. It's probably them yelling at you right now because we fucked up the audio. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, you can tell me now if the audio has been bad for half an hour, but I'll bet you could hear Peter. Oh, what's up, Magnus? My homie, watching, always sending the love. Um, yeah. I don't even know if we're live anymore. We've been good, dead for a while. Uh, Still says quick. live. It says we're live. Okay. They can yeah. hear. Yeah, they they're just talking about the price. Yes, right, we can cool. hear right on. Cool. Thanks. Great. A lot. Thank you guys. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, so anyway, these were about a thousand bucks a piece because I want, I needed to be portable. I was a nomad for three years. I'm, I'm putting, moving, I moved to Europe with the stuff just in my backpack and a duffel bag and, uh, and, and a one way ticket to Slovenia. Um, so that, I needed everything to be as portable as possible. I'm going to meetups, I'm going to, uh, to events. I honestly spend most of my effort doing the live streams beforehand. Um, in trying to find events and contact meetup organizers, people that don't have any kind of video coverage, they don't have money for it, so they don't even they don't even consider it. And I'd send them a message on meetup.com or I hear about these events in different ways through friends, and I end up contacting them and uh, and just say, hey, I'll do this for you. I just want to come to your event and I want to make sure that it's archived. And I want to make sure it's live streamed because I care about you people, and uh, and I just want to deliver it because I know that you can't. You not everyone can be there. Exactly. Not everyone can be in, in at Parallel in Prague, this yeah, amazing I mean, place, this killer venue with all of these beautiful, smart people getting wasted. I know we don't live stream that, but it is a lot of fun. You should come next year. And uh, yeah, so that's what's up. That's truly amazing. And, and people at home, they, they always have this kind of accusatory tone that you did the sound wrong on purpose or you're not showing us the slides on purpose. And let me tell you, we're always trying to do the best for the audio. Even when people are talking in the room, even when people are coming in and out, making the door squeak, and even when they're totally ignoring the incredibly booming, loud sound of my voice. But there's more to this than that, Ryan, because you said this was a thousand dollar microphone, and yet uh, I know people are complaining. We've had to put it near their mouth. We've had all these issues. Uh, we still need an audio mixer on top of that. There's always one more piece of equipment to get. You think you're set, you've got a plug strip, a power cable, a network cable, a Wi-Fi, an extender, a router, a tripod, camera, memory yeah, card. I need a new tripod. This one's totally jacked. So every time I move the camera at all, it shakes, it jumps, it doesn't stay where I want it to be. Um, so that's kind of the next thing on my list. And uh, yeah, I, I got a new laptop so I can actually use, they have open broadcast uh, system, which is open source broadcasting software. Right. Really cool stuff. You can have multiple cameras. 
uh, all going in through USB through these black magic devices. There's more shit I have to buy. And then I have to like, then I had to get a new bag. And then I'm actually not packing very many clothes at all, so I had to wear. I got a new bag. <laughs> it's that's fancy as hell, man. Stylish. Don't, don't you know, want those, a bag? Those diamonds on there, though. Is there anything you can do about those? Can you trade them for a different logo? Diamonds are forever. Oh, that's sad. Um, but yeah, so and yeah, I end up getting taking more clothes out. I end up packing more equipment, and all that I'm packing now is equipment. You go you cross borders, and people are like, "You have too many USB cables. We need to stop and search you." That, that happened to me. Happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I definitely got searched coming into Germany, and the guy was like, "What's this USB cable? What's this USB cable? Is this a camera?" And then he was looking at my bubble wrap, popping the bubbles like I put something in it. I'm just trying to keep the camera safe, man. I spent money on that. Uh, I had a nice old camera. Took it to an event once. It got bumped around in my bag. I had a dead camera. Yeah, that happens that's just that's that quickly. Uh, years, years worth of tools. Suddenly, it's a paperweight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I haven't actually broken any of my shit. But um, I don't know. There's knock no wood around some, here. Knock on knock some, on some metal, metal here. Steel. Metal, metal wood. Knock on your fancy backdrop. That yeah. actually is wood. That really worked out. Sounds Particle like wood. wood. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah, that's really. Um, but dope. yeah, I feel you on the tripod too. I had the. Uh, this old tripod I bought that came free with a camera. I just kept using it for years and years and years, this old tripod. Then I ordered an Amazon, uh, Amazon Basics tripod, and it's actually pretty professional, and it rotates, it has a level, and uh, I'm really psyched about it. Amazon Basics, uh, surprise, they had two different sets of tripods, and they're both really cheap, because Amazon manufacturers them God knows where, and, they can ship them direct from their site. They don't have to do any extra retail work. Yeah, that's awesome. And like speaking of Amazon, I've, that's another thing I've been meaning to do is to build my own website because I'm also a web developer. Sure. Um, currently working for Zcash as a web developer. I've built the first Ethereum websites. I should be able to make a website for myself, but never get around <laughs> to it. Like, what's that saying? The plumber's pipes are always leaking. <laughs> And, uh, and I've always thought, like, oh, I'll put an Amazon wish list on there, and then people can buy shit for me. I mean, it works That'd for be software great. tech, and he's but, got some cool but then, shit. But then there. you'd be begging. You'd be begging oh, for free no microphones and all this. <laughs> they, they put the guilt trip on you the minute you want to buy something to improve the live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. But, yeah, I have no problem with that. I just got to get around to it, you know, and I'd rather be doing the work. I would rather be coming to these events. I'd rather be hanging out with you. Putting, making killer content all weekend long, and uh, yeah, hopefully networking a little bit and finding some new events to do, some new venues, whatever's going on. Always staying active. So where can people learn more about your work? And you mentioned you live stream other conferences. I think you've done open source, maybe Chaos Communication, a bunch of other European uh, open source conferences, a lot of great information and knowledge that people can get from these long presentations. And again, they don't have to be there they can just watch your stream. So where can they subscribe to you on YouTube? Yeah, it's um, Adjileak, A-D-J-Y-L-E-A-K. And um, Adji is not actually a word in the dictionary, it's in the thesaurus though, so you can look that up, that's fun. And uh, Leak comes from uh, Kurt Vonnegut actually, because in Big Breakfast fan. of Champions, yeah, so you, you might know this, in Breakfast of Champions, uh, the lead character, um, what's his name, Trout? Kilgore Trout's Kilgore all Trout. in a lot of the books, but yeah, yeah. but he uh, he refers to mirrors as leaks into alternate, into oh, parallel yeah, universes. I that. And so what I do, what I consider, what I, my live streaming is, is I go to these conferences where there's really disruptive tech happening, decentralization, open source, the stuff that nobody's even thinking about. Very few people are talking about it, and uh, it's definitely not being shared. So if you want to check out any of these events, um, I'll be live streaming the Open WRT Summit. Um, in two weeks, I think, it also in Prague. What's, what's OpenWRT? OpenWRT is open source router uh, firmware. And so instead of having this, uh, this crap D-Link tech on, uh, software running on your router that's controlling all of your traffic, nobody knows what it's doing. It could be routing everything through who knows where. Um, and it's full of security vulnerabilities that you can't patch or you, it's, or as someone has to, that works for the company has to patch it. Mm -hmm. Or worse, Comcast had both wrote the software that's running your router. Sure. Um, OpenWRT is open source software that you can install, replace the firmware on your router, yeah. and you can do much more powerful stuff with it. Um, it's, it's open source so people can look for security vulnerabilities. They have a lot of developers looking at it. It's old, it's all over the place. Um, and you can you can use it to create mesh networks, which um, Battle Mesh is another event that I've live streamed twice, mm -hmm. full day, twenty or full week, twenty four hour. Uh, or tw there's twenty four videos, each about an hour long. Um, so yeah, that's my thing. If you want to go to these events and you can't, 
find out about events and uh, you want to tell me about them because you can't go, you can hit me up on Twitter, uh, same name, at GLeak. And uh, yeah, I'm always just looking for shit to do, man. All right, well, thanks so much, Ryan, for joining us. And thanks for helping us live stream at Paraloni, Paraloni Polis. I'm going to say it wrong a dozen times. An absolute pleasure. And uh, this is the Hacker Congress. It's still October 8th, 2017. And I think we're nearing the end of this live stream. We've cleared the room. They stacked up guest after guest after guest. I just keep taking them down. Of course, Tone already left with the sex therapist, so that's over. Um, but we would like to offer you from our sponsor, CryptoHWWallet.com, your choice of a brown or a black. Uh, I'm going to go with the trend and go with the black. Go with the black. Constantly. They're always going with black. I still like the brown. You keep that one. I've got a... one at home. I've got one in my bag, but I only have one treasure. I'm not a rich man. There's a question uh, about my T-shirt on here. All right. That is Ross Ulbricht, um, freeross.org. And uh, yeah, if you don't know, he created Silk Road, or he was accused of creating the Silk Road. He was. Um, and he was uh, yeah. Right. Welcome on. Um, he was arrested for creating the Silk Road and is now serving two and a half year life sentence or two and a half life sentences um, for doing so. So yeah, freeross.org. Shout out to Lynn. Had to cover that. Yeah, it's always worth mentioning Free Ross, and they are selling the uh, Free Ross commemorative silver tokens here. They're made of silver, and uh, they're 200 euros a piece. So if you want to send me a donation right now, I'll buy one. But otherwise, it's too rich for my blood. They um, are pretty. But they are really nice. Ross on the front, Bitcoin and the Paralini Polis logo on the back. Uh, great stuff, and it's always great to help Ross. And uh, now we're joined by our sponsor, J uh, Joseph, CryptoHWWallet.com. I'd like to give you a brown one. Uh, no, one else, no one else will take them off me. Uh, okay. But I think they're much more beautiful and look much more like leather. Uh, in my mind, is always brown. Uh, but then I guess I have a black leather jacket now, so I, I blew that out of the water. Uh, but you know, look at my bag, also black. So again, but I want my wallet to be more findable. So Joseph, why don't you tell us more about Crypto HW Wallet okay. and what people can buy there? Yeah, for those of you, this is probably my third time coming on the show. Um, third day, third time? Third, yeah, last That day. just means we're being good to the sponsor, which that's Thank our Thank you goal, very much. So. Uh, we're really happy and privileged to sponsor WCN uh, to this event in uh, Prague, uh, Czech Republic. This is absolutely my first time. Uh, the, this is the home of the Trezor uh, origin. Um, Trezor, Slush, General Bytes, Bitcoin yes. Pay. I want to thank all the sponsors for this conference. All local Czech companies, all Bitcoin companies. Not a single ICO sponsor on the board. Uh, shout out to Paralinzi Polis and the HCPP for doing that. I know they had a choice of sponsors. Other people offered money, but they said, no, we want local companies. We want to promote uh, the Czech Republic and we want to promote our local people. So I think that's a great thing that they did. Yes, for those of you, if you are a uh, Bitcoin, you have you have a Bitcoin store or website, you are a reseller. We are also looking for resellers uh, all over the world, um, except uh, USA on the website. Uh, if you have a physical store, of course, you are more than welcome to uh, get our merchandise at a wholesale discount price to redistribute, resell our product. Uh, we are looking for resellers all over the world. Uh, if you're interested, please get back. Or get in touch with us. We can be found on Crypto HW Wallet, uh, on Facebook and uh, Twitter, as well as sales or support at CryptoHWWallet.com. And another question from the audience: Do you also sell your items on Amazon.com? Uh, yes, yes, we do. We do sell that on uh, Amazon.com, uh, but we also sell it on uh, our website. Obviously, we offer some perks on our website: a free T-shirt with any wallet purchase. Uh, sometimes we give different gifts uh, and occasionally we have special promotional discount coupons on our website like this one we have WCN 20 off uh, and ending today which is the 8th uh, by 11.59 or midnight uh, if you still want to take advantage and purchase your leather uh, wallet case uh, they come in both brown and black for Trezor only and uh, we may have uh, other uh, promotion uh, later on as the holiday coming coming on. So the, dis soon. the discount codes for Trezor only, and we're focused on Trezor because they're a sponsor, they're local, we had their CEO and their founder on the show, so we're a little biased towards Trezor this weekend. But do you also have leather cases for other wallets? Yes, we have them for uh, Keep Key, we have them for uh, Ledger Blue. Uh, Ledger Blue is, uh, it's almost, I think a leather case for Ledger Blue is a, is a necessity. The reason I came up with this idea is when I first got my Ledger Blue, it was, uh, it's big, it's bulky, and then the corners are so sharp. When you hold it in your hands, 
It's not comfortable. If you hold it too tight, it's sharp. If you hold it too loose, you may drop it. It's a $300 uh, uh, wallet. So um, I said, this thing needs a good case. So the idea of a leather case came to my mind. That's when I start exploring. Uh, I found a, a really good designer in New York. I worked with them to create the prototype. Took it back to the factory uh, overseas. We went back and forth, we made a, a bunch of different models. And finally, we came out and finally uh, finalized the design for Trezor, Keep Key, and Ledger Blue. Um, those are all available in our stores uh, as well as Amazon. Like I said, we're looking for resellers to come on board and make your profit and help us to uh, resell these, uh, help out the community to everybody accessorize their wallets, protect their wallets. It's one of the best ways to do it. And it's very important to own your own keys. We say this all the time and people get confused. They have to print a paper wallet. They have to go through Tails Linux. They have to then load the wallet software. It's very difficult. I don't even know how you load Tails now that my computers don't seem to have CD-ROM drives anymore. Uh, that was my old go-to. Uh, and I'm going to sound like an infomercial here, but I want to talk again about the qualities of these. It's, it's real leather. It smells like leather. You can scratch it. Um, and then I know I've, I've talked to you recently about this. You, you went through special measures to make sure it wasn't made in an unethical factory. Uh, you really uh, worked on the packaging, so it's a luxury item, maybe a good gift for the Bitcoiner in your life. I'm sure a lot of wives yes. and husbands are watching and maybe you want to give someone a gift who has a Trezor, maybe they have a damaged, messed up Trezor. Uh, but I think this is a really quality item and I want you to be able to tell the people more about it while we're starting to end this live stream. Yes, we really spent a lot of effort uh, to make this uh, feel as a quality and it is a quality, starting with the, uh, the leather case itself. Uh, in, we pick absolutely premium leather. No, you will not find two identical uh, treasure leather cases with the same uh, uh, design or pattern because they're real leather. Because no two pieces of skin are probably the same. And then it comes with a uh, really nice dust bag. Uh, we had the idea of how, we, how the uh, uh, luxury handbags are packaged. We package them the same way. Really extremely soft dust bag. It can be used like a microfiber to clean your screen on your wallet. Uh, any of the wallet that has a screen, you can use this clean and comes within uh, also a nice uh, message card. It'll explain uh, uh, basically the basic functionalities and the features of the, the leather case, as well as all our contact information with a QR code, an easy scan to find us once you have this. Uh, obviously, the, the packaging is in a very high quality uh, box, a uh, gift box. This makes it a perfect gift for almost any occasion. For those ladies out there, if you have a husband that owns wallets, uh, if they don't know about this, uh, make it a secret gift for their birthday, holiday, you know, Christmas coming up. Uh, they'll be very surprised that, because we put in a lot of effort making this and uh, all of you that get this, your hand in, when you actually see this, you will not be, uh, be uh, disappointed. And people can spend uh, Bitcoin on your website, you take credit cards, what kind of payment offers? We take uh, PayPal, uh, so PayPal, behind PayPal, all credit cards are accepted and also we take cryptocurrency Bitcoin via BitPay. Uh, those are all uh, available on our website, uh, but that's not available on the, the marketplace platforms. All yes. right, and we're almost out, but I think we'll have one more guest because he just walked in.